Good morning guys. So it's super early in the morning right now and I'm finally getting around to film a video that I have wanted to film for the last couple of months and just haven't got around to doing it. I thought I would do um, a lockdown morning routine because I feel like our routine in lockdown is actually very specific every single day and pretty much the same every single day. I'm gonna sit down. Um, out of lockdown, it really wasn't. Um, but now, um, Mike is going back to work. I'm staying at home. We have a really specific routine down. Um, and I thought we'd share it all with you. So Mike's alarm goes off at like 5.15. He's a crazy man, he's a crazy man. And he goes off um, on his bike and goes for like an hour and a half cycles. I usually come down at about 6, 6.15, 6.30 and tidy up the kitchen, eat a little bit of breakfast, which I know is quite weird. Like a lot of you guys will probably think that's weird because I know some people like don't eat as soon as they wake up, but I like to eat before I work out and I work out quite early. So I eat like as soon as I wake up. Um, and I also get Mike's like packed lunch ready for the day. Sometimes he does this himself, but if I'm awake, early I'll do it for him and get like his coffee ready and everything. I'm not gonna have anything exciting for breakfast. I went through a phase of making like um, smoothie bowls every single day but the last couple of weeks I've been having cereal. A little bit of shreddies, a little bit of granola, perfect combination, a little bit of oat milk and then good to go. Okay so I'm just doing Mike's little snack pack for the day. He's got some leftovers. This is courgette with tempeh. It's in like a coconut milk kind of broth. So what I'm gonna do is pop this in the microwave and then he takes it in his little thermos container um, so that he doesn't have to use the kitchen at work. So it's a little bit safer in terms of touching everywhere that everyone else touches. He's got some um, homemade flapjack which is from Saturday. He made that with River on Saturday night. And then he's also got um, a protein bar, a kind bar, these are his favorites, the maple glazed pecan and sea salt, an apple. And then he also takes a bottle of water, which I'll fill up. And then um, he makes his coffee right before he goes so it doesn't go cold in that one. That is Mike's lunch. And then he puts it all in his milk and more, like uh, insulated bag. Such a geek. Oh no, guys. <laughs> Put too much milk in the milk proper. Oh no. I'm gonna have to stop you, my little friend. The mic's done, now I'm making myself a coffee. Let's hope I don't spill milk all over the countertop this time. Whilst the milk is frothing, I'm gonna go and let the dogs out. Good morning, guys. Oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you? Are you good? Yeah? Go for a wee wee. Delicious snacks for you. Snacks for you. Piggy's already got hers because she has to catch up. And those guys head upstairs, they're long gone. Literally straight up onto my bed. Dogs. Um, so I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna go back upstairs. Oh my God, what is going on with my hair? Sort myself out get in my gym gear because I am then going to go on the peloton. Squidgy, stay down here with me. Oh, Squidgy, you're gorgeous. We love you, Squidgy. You're going to come upstairs? Yeah, come on. I might also, in hindsight, looking at my bedroom, tidy up a bit because it seems like a certain little somebody has made a bit of a mess. I mean, she'll make a mess when she wakes up, but who's this guy? Oh, hi. So it's currently 10 past seven and I'm in the gym. Mike just got back. River's actually still asleep. She went to bed quite late last night. So 
Um, she probably won't be up till maybe eight, which is amazing. Anyway, so Mike's in the shower and I've come down to do um, a class on the Peloton. I've spoken a lot about the Peloton in vlogs, but just to show you, like this is our little setup. This is where we keep it. Everything's fairly tight in our gym space here because Mike's got a problem with buying gym equipment. Anyway, basically the only thing um, we ever use or I ever use is the Peloton and this is the little setup we have. So got weights, got the bike, got a little bar stool. This is our old bar stool from our kitchen with a Dyson fan on it pointing directly at your face because this gets sweaty. So I've got my little shoes on. I get loads of questions from people who have Peloton. I don't have the Peloton shoes because um, they didn't fit me right. I ordered my size and they were way too small and they're actually pretty expensive. So um, I ended up just getting cheaper ones in a size six instead of a size five. And I'm now gonna pick the class. New wave, pretty sure it'll be this one. So yeah, get ready to jump on this. Here we go. <laughs> that was sweaty. <laughs> But I did it half an hour. I feel like half an hour is the perfect amount of time to be like an everyday thing. So if you push it to an hour, it's always hard to fit in. So, um, oh, Piggy's down here. That must mean Mike and River downstairs having breakfast with Pigs down. Um, let's go and see what they're doing. My goodness, guys, I was wrong. River's not awake. It's just Mike in here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Mike's morning routine. How was your cycle? It was lovely. <laughs> Mike has. Um, honey toast for breakfast. Or avocado toast, but we're out of avocados. No avocados. Um, so I did your lunch for you. I was literally about to say thank you very much. Check out me being back, a good wife. Being a good, good wife. Housewife. And because River's still asleep, I'm gonna hop in the shower now because otherwise I have to plonk her in front of Peppa Pig and hope that she stays entertained. Do you know what I'm about to ready? do, which what? is super exciting? What? I'm about to put our electricity meter and gas meter readings in. Oh, that yes. stuff. Fun sports fans. <laughs> Morning routine in lockdown. You have fun at work. I will. I'll see you later. I w you don't want to kiss me because I literally yeah. am like disgusting and sweaty. See you later. Bye. Bye. Pineapple head is back with a serious question for you all. Those of you who work out daily or like numerous times a week, what do you do with your hair? Because my hair is super long, especially at the moment, like I need a haircut so badly, it's getting to like my waist if it's <laughs> over my back. Anyway, I don't like washing it every day. So if I work out every day in the week, I end up with this gross like sweat hair that I then just kind of like half blow dry and I wash my hair like twice, maybe three times a week. And it feels gross, but equally, it takes me so long. If I do my hair, it takes me so long to style it that I don't have time in the mornings. And um, yeah, what do you do? Dry shampoo and leave it, or do you wash it every day? So in case you're wondering what I use in the shower, what I'm using on my body at the moment, I'm actually using all kind of um, skin friendly stuff because I've still got an issue with my rash all over my body, um, which is really rubbish. Um, but my face is actually fine, so my face, is okay but on my body I'm using um, the E45 emollient wash so it doesn't strip anything keeps it really moisturized and then twice a day more if I can I actually tend to put this on three times a day on my legs especially if it's warm like today I'll be probably wearing a dress I can literally just like slap it on my legs halfway through the day as opposed to like getting completely naked and putting it all over my body but I literally slather myself in this which is the Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion so on my face I just did another cleanse as you guys will have seen this morning I did a um quick cleanse with my wishful um cleansing butter this is actually new it's the first time I've used that it's really nice actually um and then popped on a little bit of facial spray but to get all the sweat and everything off I just used a tiny bit of my Lancome um honey cleanser and then I'm gonna go in with my um pixie glow tonic which is in the cupboard annoyingly all of my reusable cotton pads are in the wash so I'm having to use the corner of one of these like bigger cloths and then i am going to use a little bit of my quarterly beauty elixir which i've been using for years and i've recently kind of rediscovered love it especially when the weather's hot Ugh. and then serum wise i've actually been using the vitamin c serum from ula henriksen for the last couple of weeks and i love it it's so good i've been using that 
and the eye cream. Um, and I was gonna wait until my rash had gone until I started using these, but actually my face has been pretty much unaffected and I have found this has been absolutely fine to use. Um, so, oh my goodness, I'm dropping stuff. Seriously, my like sink area is crazy right now. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the eye cream on. Okay, so my doorbell just rang with a delivery driver. <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath from running up and downstairs, <laughs> but I'm not joking, this just arrived in real time from Tan Lux, the Super Glow Serum, which you guys know, where is it? I think it's in my cupboard actually. I talk about all the time, I love it. It's hyaluronic serum with um, fake tan in it. They've just launched an SPF 30 version. This is very exciting, very exciting. So we're gonna try that, but not yet, because that's gonna go on last. Um, as SPF. I got sent that in case that wasn't clear, but I didn't know it was coming and it was just arrived, so I wanted to put it in. Um, so yeah, I've done the eye cream. I'm gonna do two pumps of the vitamin C serum. <laughs> Essentially, the name of the game when this happens in the morning and River's not awake is to get completely ready before she wakes up. It's like, can we do it? Um, so there's the vitamin C serum. It is divine, I love it. And then for moisturizer, I've been using Augustina's Beta Cream, which is amazing. I actually, I've used up one of these before. I feel like it was probably last year now. Um, and then I had another one um, that I got a discount code for. It's so expensive, I probably wouldn't buy it full price just because it, I think it's like 200 and something pounds, but I got 40% off um, as a special discount code. So um, I bought it and it's divine, but it is expensive is quite thick so you don't need a huge amount of it but it's just oh so nice and then i'm gonna try this new little badger i've been tanning my face a lot recently actually most of the time i've been using this which is the james reed click and glow this is turning into a skincare video let's not do that um this was in my monthly favorites last or like two months ago um and i mix that like three drops with the um Augustine spader cream at night that's what i've been doing to get so tanned as well as it just being really sunny. I mean, SPF and fake tan and hyaluronic acid all at the same time. I'm like, yes, please. I've gone for like one full pipette to start off with. It's very lightweight, actually. It's a weird one because you think like mixing hyaluronic acid texture with sun cream is gonna be really difficult because sun cream is quite greasy. Like even if you have a thin sun cream, one of the super thin ones, they're quite like greasy and a little bit chalky and hyaluronic is almost like a jelly feel liquid, like not jelly, but like it has like a slippiness to it. This actually feels really nice. It just feels like a serum. Yeah, I'd say one pipette's good for like my face and then maybe half my neck. And then I'm gonna take another half of one and redo my neck. Nice, I like it, I like it. Skincare done. Let's get a little bit of makeup on, do my hair, get ready for the day. Hopefully, what time, what's the time? River's still asleep. 20 past eight, she's still asleep. I think it's a record. I feel like half past eight is a record, so let's see how far we get. Also guys, in case you're wondering about the situation on my sink that I was talking about, um, for Mike's sake at least, I think I need to slightly rectify this. And in case you're also wondering, this was for my tripod for my camera just now. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a mess. If I get time later, I'm gonna tidy this up because it's outrageous. And I also forgot I haven't put on deodorant. This is the deodorant I'm currently using which is Mitchum Bamboo Powder um, Coconut Natural Deodorant to stop you getting stinky. Got halfway through the hair and this little pickle's woken up. Half past eight, get in. Did you have a nice lion, Bugsy? Yeah. Mm.
the lighting in here is very weird, but hair and makeup is done for the day and I am now, sounds like I've been in a makeup trailer, my 10 minute <laughs> rejuge and I look a lot better than I did before, it's done. Um, I'm trying to think what roof should wear today because it's going to be quite warm. Uh, maybe this one actually. I love this little dress, little gingham tiered dress from Next and then probably put a t-shirt under it so she doesn't need to be slathered in sun cream. And then I am wearing, Riff's chatting way behind me, this little dress, which is from ASOS. It's the first thing I bought from ASOS in over a year, Paw Patrol's on, in case you're wondering what that noise is. But I love it, and I'm sorry, but I think it's sold out. Um, but yeah, and then I've got some um, Missima jewelry on. Just gonna pop downstairs, give Ruby some breakfast, get her changed, and then I've got to take the dog to the vet this morning. There we go. I've just made Riv um, her breakfast while she's playing with her toys. She's got some apple juice, Marmite toast, cut up pieces of apple. Again, she doesn't like the skin, high maintenance. And one of these um, yogurts, which I know is in horrendous plastic packaging. It's kind of the same as a yogurt pot, to be fair. Um, but she's really not been very good at eating recently and she really likes these and yeah, just anything to get anything down her. So that is Rivy's breakfast. Guys, so that is gonna be it for the end of my morning routine. I'm in the car, Squidgy's in the boot, and we are on the way to take her to the vet. Um, I'm, <laughs> it's a long story of why we're taking her to the vet. Um, but yes, I'm happy that the vet is finally open and we're taking her, you basically take her and drop her off on the doorstep and then they take her in and have a consultation and they bring her back to your boot. So, Yes, that is my morning routine. Um, I'm gonna get on with my day now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of um, an insight into what my average morning is like at the moment. Um, the other thing I was gonna say is I hope that you've enjoyed it being a little bit rogue and a little bit more real life. Back in the day when I used to film like the get ready with me's and whatever, I loved that, but it used to genuinely like setting up a camera to do all of that takes most of the day. Um, obviously now I've got Riv and we're doing things on the fly. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not as polished as those those old videos used to be. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my morning. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.